I woke up craving something sweet to go along with my coffee, so I decided to make some banana nut muffins before I headed off to the thrift store. I also decided to make a batch of blueberry banana nut muffins as well because I had some leftover blueberries too. All of the muffins turned out so good y'all. If you're interested in a recipe or a tutorial, I'll link it right here so you guys could check it out. Also, I wanted to thank all of you so much i have gotten an influx of new subscribers and my old subscribers are still here still kicking it with me i see your comments i see the love that you guys show me and i just wanted you to know that i greatly appreciate it we are well on our way to 100k and i am so excited so at this point we definitely need to come up with the name now i'm going to tell you the name that my best friend suggested which is prissy cats so let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below and that'll be cats with the k because my last name is king but i really just wanted to pop on thank you guys and just show you my appreciation so i hope you enjoyed the video if you do be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload now let's jump into the thrifting vlog Hey y'all, it's Prissy. Welcome back for another video. I am currently sitting at the Goodwill. I have a nail appointment in about an hour and a half. And it's like right down the street from the Goodwill. So I decided to get out the house a little bit earlier, come into the Goodwill, shop around in here for about an hour, and then head to my nail appointment. So I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Of course, I'm in Jacksonville. You guys have been to this Goodwill before, but I'll always leave the address on the screen for you guys so you can come and visit the location just in case you see something in there you like while I'm thrifting let's go ahead and get in the store I hope I don't have any granola in my teeth y'all I'm trying to eat a little bit of this granola bar before I head in because I haven't eaten anything today so I'm trying to scarf this down a little bit at least one of these bars before I go in so yeah let me scarf this down and then we'll head inside and this is the Aldi brand y'all and they are so good yeah they have 40% off today on the green tag probably won't find anything green tag mm -hmm. Y'all, I never start at the front counters, so I'm going to start up here today just to see what they have. When I get ready to leave out, I normally just pay and go. Those are so cute. They look like my size, too. Those are cute. Sometimes it feels like I am suffocating, like I'm holding my hands around my neck. Oh, this place is a mess And I swear I can't breathe no more No more The things that you say just to fuck me up Drag me down And the way that I just stay around This is a world We're in too deep a place where we can't heal This trauma bonding Damn, this shit is real The thrill I get when you This twin bed frame right here too, y'all. It's $24.99. Music is so loud in here today. Those could be cute. Oh, $40. This one has a lot of wear, but this one is like perfect condition. But I'm not paying. $40. What is good with thinking, y'all? Now, I really do like this. I'm not getting it because I don't have anywhere for it to go, but I really like that. Look at this big armor. I wonder what these wood slats are. Probably go to a bed. Oh yeah, it goes to a bed frame. 
I like older beds like this, y'all. Like raw iron beds or iron beds. I like stuff like that. They got the little play houses, little refrigerator. Let me see what this is, y'all. This is a bean bag. Does Campbell love this? They want $25 for it, though. See, King would have liked this, but I would still have to buy the stuff to fill it up with, I'm assuming. Or does it just sit up like that? The chair is called Big Joe. But Big Prissy is not paying 25 for it. Got a nice changing table right there. Let's see what's in the bins, y'all. Golf game, indoor putt. But $10. Mm. So I was passing by the go back rack. You know how you try on stuff in the fitting room and you don't want it. So you put it here. And I saw this. It's like a leopard moo moo. It's HM. I think I have the matching pants to this. I'm going to put it in my cart for now. And y'all, look at all this fur. I think I'm gonna get this. <laughs> I like this, y'all. I'm sorry. I like this. And these are the clothes they're getting ready to put out right now. They don't feel good. It's a pretty coat, though. Oh, this is a cute little top, y'all. Now, it's a bit too dark, too. It says a medium. I probably need a large. Ooh, this is cute. I don't know I don't wear skirts that much, but I like this. Y'all, how did I end up in the clothing section? Y'all, look at this. Now, I like this leather blazer right here. Oh, I like this one, too. What is Universal Threads? Is that? I don't know what brand that is. But I like that one. I like sweaters like this, y'all already know. I don't even know why I'm over here in the jacket section, I guess, because I was passing by. That is nice, y'all. And it's green tag. I like this, but the only reason I'm not buying it is because of the colors. It looks more like a Christmas sweater. If it had like other colors in it besides this, or if it just didn't have this red, I would have totally gotten this, y'all. I love this sweater. Let me get back to home decor, y'all. And then I'll come back to the clothing section. This was supposed to be the last section, but I feel like they got some good stuff in here today. And what are these, y'all? Candle holder? Must be. It looks like wet. Looks very fragile for a candle to go in, though. How you doing? Excuse me. Yes, it's the camera. <laughs> no, I didn't get it from here. I brought it in here. It's mm. fun, ain't it? Yes, ma'am, it is. <laughs> I heard my whole apartment my stuff. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I know, I got a lot of stuff from here, too. Mm -hmm. Look at the rake he found, y'all. It's a nice rake. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you landscaping, too? Uh-huh. I'm not getting this, but y'all know I'm a sucker for a little, little marble piece. I already have something similar to that, though. What is this? Oh, a clock radio. <laughs> I like this one. It's fourteen ninety nine. I also like that one, but I don't like the color. Would definitely need to be spray painted. And then this one is so pretty. Oh, look at this. It has a little bit of damage on it maybe, but this is cute. Y'all, I'm on the countdown. I got 20 minutes, so I gotta quickly scan the glassware today. For everybody who loves blue. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know must get a ride, must get.
get back in the fight This can't be a surprise I think I'll let it slide I'm sleepwalking through All of my problems and all I can't make it through Every night is the same I keep running fast Left and right Okay, we're gonna quickly run into this fitting room and try this stuff on. I got three pieces. I was gonna get these for King for some play shoes, but I can't find the other one. So here's what I'm wearing today. This cute, but I don't think I'm getting it. Like when I'm gonna wear it. It's cute though. It's really, really cute. Maybe for me in like 15 years. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is skirt. I haven't tried it on, but it's Shein, y'all. I can get this skirt from Shein. Oh, I'm okay. I do want this, though. This may be discontinued at H&M, but I really like it, so I'm definitely getting that piece. Y'all, it's 12.15, and I had to get to my appointment. I couldn't even pay for the little moo, -moo from H&M because there was a lady in line in front of me, and she was already there paying for her stuff, but it's like every two items, like she had a cart Full. Plus a lot of stuff hanging on the front of the buggy and it's like every two or three items she would ask how much is my total? Like she did this like every two or three items. I was like ain't no way I'm able to make it like stay in this line and do that. So I said excuse me Could I leave this here until I come back, please? <laughs> she said yeah so Hopefully it'll be there when I get back if not it's not meant for me, but we're gonna run get my nails done and then come back so I'll see y'all at the nail salon this is what my nails look like I told y'all I just be getting a plane so when I'm recording my videos you really can't tell if it's an older video or if it's a newer video or however especially if my nails are always like this so I'm just getting a fill in keeping them just like this y'all and I'll see y'all when I get out oh yeah it is hot out here I am back my nails are done got me a nice little fill in Oh yeah, so now, oh yeah, excuse my air conditioner. But now I'm about to head to Publix real quick because I need to renew a tag on our truck. So I need to go out there and try to renew it in their, like their automated system so I don't have to go in the actual tax collector's office to do that. This will be my first time going to Publix to do this. So I'm gonna bring y'all along with me just in case y'all wanna see how it works. Hopefully I'll be able to show y'all that without showing y'all too much of my information. Y'all, so this is what the machine looks like in public. Get started. You don't accept cash, so you gotta pay with credit card. Have you moved since you renewed? No. License plate and date of birth. Okay, let me do this and I'll come right back. All right, so they ask you if you wanna renew it for a year or two. I'm gonna go for a year. So it'll be $60.92 because I pay them with my card. They charge you for that. So it says processing. Okay, this printing. Look at that. How quick is that? It's printing all my dots right here. How cool. Y'all, that was so easy. Got the documents. Let me tell y'all something. I do that all the time rather than going to the tax collector's office to get this done because nobody was at the machine. It was just, it was too easy. Anyway, y'all, let's head back to the Goodwill. Made it back. Now let's just hope she still has my items at the front. Hey, I came back to get my items. They still up there. The what? That dress, that leopard thing. It should be up there. Okay, it, thank it, you. It should be right there on that. Uh, oh, I see it. Thank you. Have a good one. Y'all should get up work. I had to let her know I need my stuff. <laughs> I got my pieces. I'm about to head over to the kids section and see if I can find this other one right here so I can get those for King. Look at this jacket, y'all. This is the friend. It's so cute. This arm is red and then this whole side, front side is red. They put some new stuff since I've been gone, y'all. Music's still loud though. That's for sure. 
I'm going through their racks because they're putting out clothes. And I found this two-piece set, y'all. It's a knit set. Pants and a long sleeve top. It's so cute and casual. I don't know how much the two-piece sets are, though. So, we're going to check the price on that. And then I found these white jeans. They're Abercrombie and Fitch. They are green tags, which means they'll be about $4 with the 40% off. So I may get those too. I love the material. These are so nice. I wish these were my size. They're a size six. They're by the brand Veronica Beard. But look how flowy and long they are. They're so pretty, y'all. I made my way to the dress section. I did see this cute little dress. This is the back right here, y'all. And then this is the front. It's a 3X. It's new with the tags. This is the brand. It looks so comfy. I skimmed the dress section. I didn't find anything. Now, when I was in the men's department, I did find these for babes. They are H&M, new with a tag. She has these already. She has them in a teal color and black, and she has them in like a plaid. So I know she could fit these, and I know she would love them, especially in that tan color. So I went ahead and got those for her. Now I'm just back in like the regular sections, y'all, looking on the tops of the racks to see if I can find anything that jumps out at me. I be all kind of stuff up here, y'all. These little heart dishes are cute. I'm not getting them. I've seen about four of them. But I'm not getting them. I still can't find this shoe for my grandson, y'all. Somebody hit that thing good. I remember that blue lamp that was right here before we left. Well, somebody purchased that and they replaced it with this one right here. All right, y'all, I am out of there and I'm headed to the house. When I get home, I'll show you what I ended up picking up. All right, so I'm back at the house. I wanted to quickly show you what I got. I didn't realize everything was in like a tan slash nude color palette. So let me show you. The first thing is this two-piece set. Now, this does not have any type of tags on the inside where I can tell where it's from the brand or anything so i have no clue about this item but i do love it so so much it has this button down v-neck closure you can unbutton these two if you want it as well i love this material it's like a knit material the sides of the shirt has a little bit of like a little split on the side so it'll hang nicely or you can do like a half tuck with this these are the pants they're very simple as well a little bit of elastic waist i don't think they're going to be as long as i would love for them to be but i think it's still going to be a cute look with maybe some sandals during the summertime or springtime i think it's going to be a very cute look y'all Girl, when she told me the price, I was like, oh no, you could put that back. And she was like, well, if I give you 40% off, would you buy it? And I was like, yeah, if you give me 40% off, I'll take it. So $14.99 and then she gave me the 40% off. So it took $6 off. So it was $8.99 for the set. I picked up these H&M trousers for Babe. I told you guys she does have these in black a teal color and plaid. So I knew she would love these. When I showed them to her, she wanted to wear them yesterday. So we was gonna like wash them up and all that stuff. But then she changed her mind. So we still have the tags and everything intact for it. It looks like they were originally $30 from H&M. They have like a little 
elastic and drawstring closure. The bottom of the pants do get a little bit tapered, which I love. The back of them have just the one pocket. She rang them up as women's pants, but these are them right here, women's pants with the red tag. So they were $6.99. Next, we have a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. I do not own any white jeans and I needed a pair. So I was like, oh, these are so cute. Still a little bit rugged because they have this distressing on the knees. So I loved that about them. Just a white pant that you can dress down and wear casually. I thought about this blue and white striped button down that I have. I think that'll look so good with these. The pants at Goodwill are $6.99 and then these were green tags. So they were $4.19, y'all. They did have just a little bit of stains right here. I think it's just from being like rubbed on the ground or something, but that'll come out with some good old washing powder and Clorox. They have the two big pockets on the back. I love these y'all. I hope they fit me as cute as I'm hoping they do. Last but not least, we got the Moo Moo, which is also another H&M piece. I love the print on this. Now I've seen this in the store when it was originally in the store and I think it was about $40. Now if y'all know me, y'all know I'm not about to pay $40 for this like at all. It wasn't that serious for me to have it but for $5.39 it was very important for me to come back and get this. It is so so, so cute. I think it'll look great with me just like fresh out the shower, do my skincare, all that stuff, put on some cute, comfy slippers, and just prance around the house in this, y'all. I love Moo Moo's and I love animal print. So this one right here was a no-brainer. That is my haul for today. I'm not gonna try on anything in this video, but I do have these items as well as some items behind here that I need to try on and do like a, a good try on haul for you guys. I know you miss those, especially for the ones who are here for the fashion content. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be coming in a week or so. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.